All right, guys, it's time to talk Renfield. Let's go. So, if you guys have been following my, my page for a while, you know I am a gigantic Dracula fan. To me, that is the the that character is what really got me into horror. Michael Myers was the first scene I saw that made me kind of go into it, but I wanted to dress up the character of Dracula. And I really, really enjoyed that horror movie, even back in 1931. Um, it's one of my favorites to this day. The 1992 version with, um, with uh, the, 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 what's the name? I'm sorry, Gary Oldman. One of my favorites. Um, 2004 with Van Helsing, the movie Van Helsing, the, the Dracula and that one, one of my favorites. There have been so many iterations of Dracula. A lot of them have been very, very strong. But on the flip side, a lot of them have been, have, have been you know, so-so. And then you have Nicolas Cage. Now, a lot of people don't like his acting. I personally was not a big fan of him for the longest time. When I heard he was playing Dracula in this movie, I was like, I have to see it. Why? Because I didn't, the reasons I didn't like him were the exact reason why I felt he would be amazing. Because he's a little too over the top for me when he's rooted in like realistic roles and, and, and grounded in like, 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 like gritty reality type roles. Playing Dracula and just with the way he can, what he could bring, I just knew it would be perfect. So going into this movie, it could have been the worst movie in the world. As long as Dracula was amazing, I would have loved it. And I had a feeling going in, what we would see would be one of the best Dracula portrayals ever. So I watched the movie. I really liked it. I didn't like it as much as I wanted to like it. And I'll explain why. I was right about Nicolas Cage. He was phenomenal. The, the, the acting alongside him was all well and good, but to me, you're here for Dracula and Nicolas Cage. The problem was I felt it was a little rushed. It, it just seemed like a bunch of ideas were trying to develop, but next thing you know, the movie's over. And it was just like, that's, that's it? The scenes with Nicolas Cage were awesome. I mean, he he definitely carried that movie along. And I'm not saying that the other act, the other actors and actresses in the movie didn't hold their own. They all did well, but he made that movie. And I mean, obviously, it's called Renfield, which is linked to Dracula. But he was so amazing. I would love to see Nicolas Cage play Dracula again in some other some other type of movie. I would like a more serious take on him. But even still, even in this that's supposed to be a comedy, action, romance, horror, um, one of the reviews I, I read said that the um, movie didn't know what it wanted to be. And it was like, like they like downgraded the movie because of that. From my perspective, I thought it was a plus because it didn't have to fit in one box. I feel it fit in each box it was trying to get into pretty well, pretty well. Um, but back to what I was saying about, about Dracula. So there was just, by, by the time it was over, I just left the theater feeling like, that was it, just a little let down. It was entertaining while I watched it. I don't regret watching it. I, I don't want to go back and say, I wish I never saw it. I've seen it a few times since watching the theater. And each time I watch it, I do appreciate the movie even more because I know what to expect as far as how much Dracula I'm gonna see. I just felt there wasn't enough initially because my, my mind was going in with a certain perspective but to see a little bit more than I did. Once I knew that's all I was getting, every other subsequent um, um, watch of the movie became more enjoyable. And I'll say this, give it five, 10, maybe 15 years, this is gonna be a cult classic. It has a cult classic imprints written all over it. It might not be the movie that gets all the acclaim and all the praise now. You might not even go see it, 
And it might be one of those things, it's like, yeah, I wanna go see it when I, when I get around to it, and you just never get around to it. And then it's gonna to start to get a buzz five to 10 years from now, and it's gonna be one of the, 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 the quintessential cult classics of the horror comedy genre. Um, I liked it again. Again, that's 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 my review, guys. I, I did I did like it. I just want a little bit more. But it's one of the movies that, that improves with every watch. If you haven't seen Renfield, I think you should check it out. It's definitely worth watching. I, it was very entertaining, and I I, I like what I saw of it. So that's my review today, guys. Um, if you're new here, it's the Glad Horror Channel, the best horror channel here on YouTube. I talk all things horror. I see you guys next time.